Practical SQL Server 2008 SSIS. This is Karl Mantov. This is a short demo of how to install SQL Server 2008. In this lesson you learn install a named instance of SQL Server 2008, install database server, install analysis services server, this handles all app cubes, install reporting services server, and install integration services server if one uh, not installed yet. SQL USA product line covers the entire uh, component list of SQL Server starting with a database server administration which includes programming, SSAS analysis services with all app cubes, integration services for data transfer, reporting services for presentation of data and information, and uh, T-SQL programming. Let's start. There is a planning tab and uh, that is the place to start. We are going to skip this page because uh, it takes some time to go through the planning. We go straight to installation. And it's a new SQL Server standalone installation. We are going to install a new instance. We are at the next page. We don't have any failure. OK. Click Install. The installation takes about half an hour. We have a default instance installed, a named instance and shared components such as integration services. SQL Server Management Studio also a shared component. Next, we have to enter the product key and then proceed to the next page. Or we can just get a free addition, Express, Express with Advanced Services or Enterprise Evaluation. Express and Express with Advanced Services will not expire. Enterprise Evaluation will expire. But we have uh, the developer edition which requires entering the product key. The product key has been accepted. I accept the license. And proceeding to the next page, I select all. Next. MS SQL Server is already the default instance, so I cannot do default instance. This is a named instance, so I have to do another name instance, and I'm going to call it Omega. Next. There is plenty of room available. Next. I can set the accounts and password in this instance. What I am going to use, just use anti authority for all. There is also a button just to uh, set uh, 
the accounts the same way for all SQL Server services. In this instance, we use the system service or system account and no password required. However, if uh, you have special accounts set up for SQL Server, either server account or network account, when password is required, you may get a similar error screen when um, you are using uh, your own uh, special database management or server management accounts and if so you have to resolve it there are rules and restrictions of what kind of accounts can be used for the various services in this instance we are going to change to anti-authority system and uh, we have to do it uh, twice and uh, when the remaining accounts are set up OK and we can proceed uh, with the installation. Use mix mode authentication so I have to enter the SA password and I have to confirm it. I want to add the current user and I can add other users um, at this point as well. I want to add the current user. This is for analysis services. And I can add other users as well. Next. This is not SharePoint installation, just native mode for uh, reporting services. Next. This is um, optional. Next. It's okay so far. We don't have any failure. Next. And uh, we are ready to install and this is the action list and click install. This part of the installation um, is the longest, it may take 20 minutes but uh, it depends on the computer and uh, no more questions asked uh, at this point Usually it will succeed, however, sometimes there may be issues uh, based on the uh, computer where it's installing on. And um, if there are errors in the installation, but obviously the errors have to be addressed first and the installation has to be repeated. This is the end of the short demonstration on how to install SQL Server 2008.